the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go frame by frame and analyze this commercial. And then after I'm done analyzing it, I'm going to do one more thing, and that's compare and contrast it to another commercial and explain why it's some old fucking bullshit. So without further ado, let's get right into the commercial. Bullying. The Me Too movement against Toxic sexual harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? Now you'll notice in the background there's a couple of like clippings from different news things talking about sexual harassment and Me Too and all of that. The obvious implication that men are doing something to women. While it's not explicitly stated, we do once again get the message that men need to be better for women. But if you've been a regular person on my channel, you'll know just how futile that shit is. And if you're not a regular, you will learn how futile that shit is when we're done with this section of the video, so just stay tuned. Anyhow, we're just going to keep going. We then see that there is a whole bunch of boys chasing after this one kid. I imagine so they can beat him up. Honestly, the group of bullies is probably about 9 or 10 strong. So, like, I, I'm i really... Can, what did that... That kid had to have done something to them, right? Oh, I'm victim blaming. What I'm basically saying is it kind of stretches your disbelief here. When you see literally a cabal of boys chasing after one small scrawny kid, you know? Anyhow, we're gonna keep going. It's likely happening here in Tokyo as well. A problem we can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over. It's been going on far too long. Now again, if you take it frame by frame, you have a couple of young men watching television. And basically this is trying to symbolize that men are getting their cues on how to be men from the TV. Now, see, this wouldn't really be a very... Now, now, here's the thing. It's not that television and media does not have an effect on you, because it can. But television and media is oftentimes always showing the negative implications it can have on young men without ever really showing the positive. For example, one of the most positive influences in my life comes from a fictional character, and his name is Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. And I am not joking about that. Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, not even because of his superpowers, but because of who he is as a person. And that's an example of media, being fictional or otherwise, having a positive influence on my life. It's true that media can have a really, really bad impact on you, but it all just kind of depends on the media you're absorbing and the messages you want to take. If you spend a lot of time watching Chinese cartoons, you're going to get a, a like Shonen Jump Chinese cartoons. Let's be specific about that. You're going to pick up on a lot of different things about loyalty, honor, compassion, protecting your friends, being there for the people you love, and how the power of friendship is the strongest force in the universe. In other words, that medium is actually going to affect you pretty positively if those are the messages you want to absorb. Now, I'm not here to say that. In the commercial, they're obviously showing us negative portrayals of men and masculinity, and that's the point. To show us that these men are absorbing how to be a man from a very negative or toxic place. But I'm here to counter that and say, while it's true that that can be the case, the opposite is equally as true, at least in my experience. But let's take it frame by frame to see what are these kids watching. Now, in the first frame, you see a couple of guys ogling over a sexy woman. Uh, let us not pretend that women do not enjoy the selection that they have of men that want to date them because we have to pretend that that to be the case in order for this to be particularly offensive. You'll also notice something else that's here which is being implied or is something that I can imply or press onto it. And that is the fact that you're going to have these men try to compete for this woman in the red dress. And then there's actually a lot of other subliminal messaging and a lot of other coding I could get in when you're talking about women in red dresses. but. That's, that's, I'm, I'm not, not today. I'm not doing it today. Let's just keep going. Now, the next show that we watch is we see a man grabbing, I think that's his wife's butt. I'm going to, see, here's the thing, because this thing takes two different contexts if the woman is not his wife. If the woman is his wife or a significant other, then that just kind of seems like you're trying to demonize normal, healthy sexual relationships. Like, your wife should be desirable to you, and as a wife, you should want to have sex with your husband. If you're in a marriage where you two are not sexually attracted to each other, you have literally defeated the whole purpose of that marriage. Because the whole point is to, like, create children. And in order to create children, it kind of requires that you have, you know, 
Give you the sideways happy dance, you know what I'm just saying. If the woman is not his wife, then sure, it is showing a man who's being sexually aggressive, but the woman in particular doesn't even seem to think that's a bad thing. And, and honestly, being sexually aggressive isn't bad on its face, it's only bad to particular women. And the only way you're going to know it's bad to a particular woman is if you try to be sexually aggressive. In fact, some women actually really like it when you are. It's really difficult to navigate what is okay and what's not okay when you're being sexual because half the time it all just kind of depends on whether or not the woman finds you attractive and, and that could be its own video dissection by itself. So we're going to keep looking at the next one. So this one just shows some douchebag bro dancing with pretty women. In other words, you know, your masculinity as a man is determined by the amount of pretty things that are around you. Which is a negative image that's certainly portrayed to young men, but... It's only a negative image that will affect you if you don't have a father to teach you otherwise. Which, the commercial kind of goes to undermine its point, but whatever. Here's the thing. What is very important here to notice is that the commercial is trying to show us that sexual aggression is not a particularly good thing. And they are trying to demonize it. The only problem is sexual aggression is such a nuanced topic, it really can't even be developed into, even in a meaningful way in this video, Otherwise, we'd be here for a really freaking long time. So I'm just going to have to put a pin in it and really talk about sexual aggression in another video all on its own. So moving forward, we're going to start talking about some other stuff, which is this guide to meeting a woman in the boardroom. Let's look at this frame. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old... Now, before the pedantic people out there get to me, I know I'm not... This isn't literally every frame. It's clips, but... Look, you can't out pedantic me, all right? I'm shut up. Anyhow, moving forward. So what, again, they're trying to demonize the idea that men talking down to women is bad, or or trying to. And this is clearly mansplaining, by the way, because his literal sentence was something akin to what I think she's actually trying to say. So let me explain it in a way that's better than her. He's being very condescending and mean. And to be honest with you, yeah, that is a negative trait to have. It's not a negative trait to have because you're a man. It's a negative trait to have as a person. Being condescending and rude to people and dismissing them is not a very healthy state of mind when you're supposed to work in a corporation that requires multiple different people to have multiple different ideas. Now, it's entirely possible that the woman here maybe is isn't that good at articulating herself because that is a character weakness that some people have. There's no real way to know that this is the case because it's just a fucking, it's five, it's ten second clip in a commercial and you can't really know. But what's important to say here is that it's a little bit more complicated than that. And it's really important that we realize that this shit's a little bit more complicated. Now again, just being condescending and rude is a negative thing, but it's not a thing that exists solely for men, it exists in women as well. Mansplaining as a verb should not exist because there's already a word for it and that's just called being fucking condescending. Mansplaining only exists to try to put condescending attitudes specifically onto men. And I have to say that is very, very misandric and very sexist, but of course, Feminists can't be those things, obviously, sir, because if they did, they'd be giant fucking hypocrites. Or what's that? They are oftentimes giant hypocrites, sir. Who would have thought? Old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something boys. finally changed. I've always found this one to be rather, hmm, how do I say, uh, insulting to my intelligence. The idea that boys will be boys just means that men, or I'm sorry, boys have lots of energy and they want to move around a lot. And they do. And any person that's spent any particular amount of time with boys will know that. Now, is it every young boy? No. Like, like every young boy is not going to just be rolling on the ground and just have all this fucking stupid amount of energy. But some of them will, and sometimes they're going to disagree, and sometimes they're going to fight. But the interesting thing about young men fighting is sometimes when young men fight with people they're close with, it doesn't always have to be something that ends a friendship. Sometimes it can just be something that brings you closer. Sometimes wrestling with other guys because you're a little upset and getting that energy out isn't always a bad thing. And the commercial is very clear trying to paint that aggression as men is awful and that it should be stopped. That's why they're highlighting this here. But again, like with everything else, it's a little bit more fucking complicated than that. We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. We already do. That's all I have to say about that. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. Now this section is actually really weird to me because when I was going frame by frame and pausing, I noticed that there is a cameraman here. So that kind of changed the context because 
either this guy is a show promoter where he's trying to promote this party, even though it kind of looks like really dry and dreary, but it's a commercial. I mean, so whatever. So either the guy is a promoter and like he's literally, you know, getting shots of pretty women to say, hey, look how fun this guy is, or this is a fucking editing mistake and the guys who made the commercial didn't realize that their cameraman was in that shot. Um, but let's say it's probably more, hopefully it's more the former than the latter. Well, then that changes the context entirely because if the guy is like, hey, beautiful lady, smile, look happy, that means he's doing his fucking job. And the guy who's coming to white knight him and be like, hey, guy, hey, dude, don't say that to her is literally interrupting his job of being a show promoter. But that's just me projecting. That's just me assuming that the cameraman there has a role. Because <laughs> if the cameraman is not supposed to be there and he's actually, you know, non-diegetic, I, I don't know if I used that correctly. Um, but if he's not supposed to be there, then that means you have a guy saying, hey, pretty lady, you should smile because you look beautiful. And another guy coming and saying, hey, stop it. Obviously, the commercial is trying to imply that defending women or protecting women is a virtuous thing that's good. And it can be sometimes. The only problem is when you're trying to stop a guy from trying to get some vagina, which is something that needs to happen in order for a fucking race to continue to be, well then you're actually doing the opposite of being helpful. Because the guy isn't even being particularly rude or upsetting or even harsh when he's asking a pretty woman to fucking smile. Now I know a lot of women complain about this. A lot of feminists don't like it that guys are asking women to be pretty and attractive, but I have to say, Look, man, you assholes ask us men to work out on a regular fucking basis, get six-pack abs, and be able to have these big, strong chests. If the, the least you can fucking do for us is smile if you want us to put that much effort into making ourselves look good. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, what I'm actually saying is asking for a woman to be attractive because she's be like, or trying to spit game to a woman because you think she's beautiful is not something that should be undermined or demonized. Or it's not something that should be stopped. If the guy really is harassing her, yeah, I get that shit because like women are weak creatures and they really can't do anything against the man, especially if he's drunk. Like they, they really, they really just, just can't, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, in those types of situations, if a man steps up and it's like, hey, dude, man, it's not cool. Leave her alone. I, I, I honestly I don't have any problem with that. But if a guy is literally just trying to talk to a woman, just like spit some game, like, like we have to have that ability to spit game to women. Like that's not evil. It's not bad to try to date a woman. That's that's fucked up. Like that, that that should not be something that it should never be implied that trying to cold approach a woman is bad, because that's just gonna hurt women. Because then they're not gonna be able to guy find guys to to date them. And I'm not really saying that as in like. Like, this is bad because it hurts women. What I'm saying is that this just has a negative effect on everyone. Like, no one wins when we stop men from wanting to approach women. Nobody gets anything out of that at the end of the day is what I am trying to say. To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. So, so once again, what they're trying to do is paint sexual aggression as a bad thing unto itself. As, as in, it's, it's wrong to be sexually aggressive towards a woman, and I think that's bullshit, and which I already said in the last clip, but this is just a common theme in this commercial, or at least this part of the commercial, at least. So, in conclusion, one of the most important things that we can get out of this advertisement is that sexual aggression towards women is bad. It's not an explicit statement. Now, in most commercials I've seen in my life, it's explicitly stated that men gonna be bad for women to make women's lives better. However, what we find in this ad is, is a lot more subtle. It's more trying to imply to you guys that being sexually aggressive is a bad thing that should be avoided. Being aggressive in general is something that should be avoided, but what we got is probably about maybe 60% of what we've seen or the imagery seen I think it's probably about a good split actually between the sexual aggression and just regular. So aggression at the end of the day is not a very good thing for young men to aspire to have and to be. And that as men, we need to curtail that behavior and fix it. The only problem with that is, well, sexual aggression is kind of the only way men can try to get women to date. Because the unfortunate truth about dating and the unfortunate truth about male-female relationships is that women are fucking passive. And women do not try to date men. There have been so many times where I've had conversations with women 
And and literally, they will not ask me about how I'm doing. They they the most I get is how was your day. They they take no interest in me as a person. And it's entirely possible that they're they're just not interested in me as a person. If that's the case, well, that's more to my fucking point. Maybe it's because I'm ugly and they just don't like me. But I mean, the whole point about it all is, is if women aren't taking an interest in men, or if women are interested and do like these men and are just so boring and passive, they don't know how to have or hold a conversation. Then it does fall on men to be more aggressive to try to date and talk to women. There's just no real way around it. And when you have a commercial that's trying to imply that it's wrong to be sexually aggressive, you are only setting men up for fucking failure. There's no way, there's no other way to date women in America, unfortunately. You have to approach them. Most women are not going to approach you, even if you're really attractive. Some women still, now some women will, like some women will, like it, it's possible that you can be like a nice big buff strong guy and some girl will try to spit the game or you can be a pretty boy. I mean, it can, it can happen, but more than likely than anything else, that woman is going to require you to try. And so the commercial is not, the commercial cannot functionally educate you on the nuances and the differences between what is fine sexual aggression and what is too much sexual aggression. Then you get into another problem, and another, and the other problem is that sexual aggression is just all at the behest, or is is fine or not fine, all just at the the discretion of the woman in question, and it's just all either it can literally just be based on whether you're attractive or not. Now, uh, if you guys haven't seen this, I will shield myself out here if you made it this far into the video, where I made a video response to a young lady named Bree, and I made a remake to that video response, which I can point you guys to. And she had one of the best stories ever where she shows us that this one guy was being sexually aggressive towards her and she didn't like it so much so that she ends up, he ended up like whipping out his dick to her and she didn't like it so she took him to court. Um, but then you have literally, in the same video mind you, the, the girl, she's when she was younger, some guy would just grab her, literally just grab her in the hallway, took her to a room, he just started kissing her and, you know, touching her vagina, touching her all over. This, this is her story. I'm not making this up. Now, you've noticed, again, both of these men are sexually aggressive, but in one situation, it's fine. And in the other situation, it's not fine. So much so that she needs to take this guy to court. And this is what I'm saying here about sexual aggression. It, the topic is just way too fucking complex to put into a commercial and say, that's bad. Because, honestly... Sometimes that's what the woman wants, and you can't know that until you try. Now, is it good? Should you try? Well, that's the fucking question. Like, should you try to be sexually aggressive to a woman? It depends on the context. It depends where you are. Are you at work? Are you at the movies? Are you at the mall? Is it the street? Like, where? Like, what are the guidelines? You know what I mean? And this is where men kind of have to help other men and talk about it and really have to think complexly about this shit. And this is also on women's part, too. Like, women have to, like, as a fucking unit, They've got to come together or they got to figure this shit out because unless women are going to start approaching men or unless women are going to start being more open about men, we're just going to start getting a society where men are afraid to literally talk to women, where men are afraid to be sexually aggressive to women. But we need sexual aggression in order to literally keep our society going. Male sexuality is more aggressive because it, it, it has no choice but to be. Now, um... At the end of the day, I guess I can end the video off by saying this. I don't. I, I really do not like this element of the commercial more than anything else because of how complex the topic is. So um, I think in the next video, we're going to focus more on comparing and contrasting uh, this commercial targeted towards men and a commercial targeted towards women. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. And shoot, go and click that. Comment the comment box below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.